All right, today we have the Automat 3. This is a uh, early model camera compared to the later 3.5 Fs, the 2.5, the 2.8 Fs, and 2.8 Cs, 2.8 Es, things like that. This is an earlier model. It's got a Tessar lens, 3.5. It's not the newest camera, it's not the highly biggest featured camera, it has no meter on it. It does have a lens that's sharp enough to take quality portraits. I've taken pictures with this. Watch my other video, you'll see there are some issues with the focus mechanism in this camera. It's not a problem, it's working. Until things aren't working, I'm using these cameras. And you can get these a lot less expensively than the 3.5F or the 2.8F, any of the uh, higher lettered uh, cameras tend to go for a lot more money. You can pick these up for probably 200 or less. I think I got this for a lot less, maybe 100. Um, good simple camera, you can, if you don't put too much money into it, you can also carry it everywhere. You can risk it getting a little rain on it. You can risk it taking pictures until someday it won't. But I'm thinking that these are built like tanks. They've lasted 70 years now they'll last another few with you banging them around and me banging them around. So Rollerflex, this one doesn't have a strap or anything. This one's pretty much bare bones. I stick it in my briefcase and take it places. And it's one of those things that doesn't take up much room for as big of a negative as it makes. So highly recommended any of the Rollerflexes. Check the apertures, check the shutter speeds that they're working. And as long as they are, shoot film. Work the camera, make it something that you're using a lot and you'll get amazing results. I'd love to see them too. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll have more cameras for you.